Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video a little different from my normal content. I'm playing Dresser and Press and I'm going to be showing you how to do um, all the chapters of the Lana Law. So the first thing you want to do for the first chapter is you're going to want to go ahead and follow the white flowers to Lana's childhood home before dark. And then eventually you will make it to Lana's house. So once you make it here, they'll have this cutscene. But I do suggest doing this with some players, some other people, um, just because it's definitely a lot easier. I'm just doing it solo because I've done this a lot. So yeah, here um, in the barn, you'll find the blue key, um, which is the key for the parents' office, which I will go there right now. But you do have to be careful of the two-headed monster in the house. Um, so, yeah, you don't want to go near him or you will get a jump scare. Another reason why it's very, very suggested of doing this with other people is because um, it can be very hard to um, unlock two of the doors downstairs because the monster can camp it. So, you will find the uh, camera in the parents' office and then you just come into Lana's room and deposit that. The pink key is right behind these boxes in Lana's room. So this pink key goes downstairs. Oh, I didn't see them there. I'm lagging. Yeah. Once you've unlocked the pink door, you can get the pallet on top of uh, the washing machines. Be careful going out though because of the monster. And go right, oh gosh. So then we got the pallet. Next in the parents room there is the purple key. So you're going to want to go ahead and take that. So for where the purple key goes, you're going to want to go out of the house and then you're going to want to go around here and unlock the garage. Once you've unlocked the garage, you will go around here and collect the teddy bear. Then you're going to want to go ahead and deposit this in the suitcase as well. I have to go grab the red key. It's in that part right near the back door. Then you're going to want to go around here and go into this little thing. And then you're going to want to unlock the red uh, door here. You're going to want to go in and the journal is behind the, this little cabinet here. Now the orange key is in the kitchen as well. So I'm going to go back around to the back and I'll get it from there just because I feel like that will be a bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and go around here and the orange key is right in that little corner there. So the orange door, um, so the orange key unlocks the bathroom where the nail file is. Uh, this can be a bit, oh gosh, where did my hair go? Okay, um, you're going to have to be a bit careful when getting out of here though. I might die here. No, 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 go, 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 go. Run up. I find when you're playing with other people, that the monster can get glitched and doesn't go upstairs and just stays and hangs around in the living room. So that can be a bit annoying. As you know, I think he's upstairs. So you're gonna go around here and here is the green key behind the plant pot. Now I'm just gonna wait for him to come back down. I'm gonna go out and just wait for him to go in the living room so I can go back upstairs. I want to climb this ladder and unlock the attic here. And then the Greek tales book will be behind that and then deposit that as well and then you will get this cutscene after that you will be teleported to chapter two so once you're in chapter two you cannot step on the glass or anything um because that will alert the nurse but just follow me and go ahead and go into lana's room and collect this map piece here also have lana's journal um, you do want to be careful of the nurse as well, you can hide in the lockers, you can run away from her as well, eventually she will probably teleport, so go ahead and oh gosh run, 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 yeah see she just teleported, so now I'm going to go ahead and go up these stairs here and I usually do the storage and then the bathrooms, so you're going to go around here, go into storage and collect this map piece then after that you're gonna come out here and you're gonna go to the bathrooms over here and the other map piece will be in the last door in the bathrooms 
Now after that, you're gonna go ahead and come out here and you're gonna go in the recreational room um, and you get those map piece behind the boxes. Then after that, you're gonna want to... Oh gosh, hold on. Wait for the nurse to leave. Oh Jesus, I didn't even see her. That, made... that jump scared me a bit, honestly. Right. Now you're gonna want to go ahead and run down here to the cafeteria. You can do the cafeteria first as well, um, but I prefer doing it in the order that I just did there. Though it can be a bit annoying. So after you get that piece, you're gonna want to not let the last get you. I might get caught in a second. You're gonna want to run away from the nurse. And you're gonna want to go around here um, to Nurse Julie's office. I actually kind of forgotten where it is, but just follow me, bear with me. Nope, not there, it's up here, right. Now you're gonna want to go into head Nurse Julie's office. This will give you a jump scare when you get the last piece as well, and it will alert the nurse, yep, so. And then literally, I just sprint to the door. And then you're gonna want to unlock the door. And it's pretty much that simple, but it can be quite hard. I've done this quite a few times, so. And then you will get this cutscene, then you have to run away from Nurse Julie. You can just follow where I go. I do suggest doing this with other players again, um, but I have had a lot of practice, so um, don't expect to get it on the first try. Um, I certainly didn't, uh, especially not solo, so um, yeah, it would probably just be best if you started with lots of players who know what they're doing. After you have done that, you'll be teleported to chapter three. So after the cutscene, you'll be um, uh, in this maze and you have to follow this trail and the fireflies this is a faint line on the ground um, so yeah if you don't uh, see the line on the floor because um, it's very faint you can just follow where I'm going After you finish the maze, you have another cutscene. So after this cutscene, you will have to grab this scythe um, to fight the doppelgangers. I don't know why my thing isn't loading. Please excuse that, I'm quite lucky today. So once the doppelgangers spawn, you're gonna want to uh, attack them before they can attack you. Um, I just got attacked there and lost half a heart. Um, so you're gonna want to attack them. There's only like three, I think. Um, so yeah. Then you're gonna want to get up onto these rocks. After that, you'll find to get off the rocks. Then you're gonna have to dodge these lasers. Um, you're gonna have to try and dodge them fairly quick. Um, otherwise, they will get you. After that, you're gonna want to dodge, uh, well, not dodge, run away from Lena um you because you don't want her to get you because she will take away some of your health after that you're gonna want to jump over these shock waves there's only three so there's not a big deal um but they will take away your health if you do not jump over them and finally you're going to want to attack lena you've done all the chapters you must be very proud of yourself well you should be and then you're gonna go over to here and you have the items you may have to rejoin but you get a shield the crow a dress and the thing for the men I don't know the name of it but yeah you'll get all these the crow has three different toggles um, 
hand, shoulder and cage and then the shield has two toggles side and default and then the dress has four toggles thank you so much for watching this video um, i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope it's helped you out and i'll see you all soon bye